According to the American Cancer Society, prostate cancer is the second most common cancer and the second leading cause of cancer-related death in American men, with almost 190,000 new cases reported in 2016 alone. That's why early detection is so important. Well, one Israeli-owned company based out of Cleveland has set out to make diagnosis that much more available and affordable. Joining me today to tell us more about his company's innovation is CEO and co-founder of Cleveland Diagnostics, Arnon Haidt. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, my pleasure. Actually, uh, I have to almost add automatically, is even though we, we have the word Cleveland in our name, and our other co-founder is Cleveland Clinic, which is perhaps some of you know, maybe is, uh, would, is probably the number two hospital system uh, in the United States. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, perhaps we should say also the word Israel because we are really I'm part of why my trip here is we're setting up actually operations in Israel. Uh, it's going right. to be a U.S. Israeli company eventually. We're we are doing now a clinical study uh, in Bailinson and we're looking forward. This is a great country. I came from here and I'm dying to actually Come just jump into the pool. Yes. There you go. There you go. Well, you know, there's a lot of Israeli innovation that's known around the world, and you guys have created something that is very special. Now, first off, how do we typically test for prostate cancer, among other cancers? Uh, actually, prostate, uh, is, uh, as you said, it's so common. It's, it's almost, like, think of uh, prostate cancer as breast cancer for women. Right. It's the most prevalent cancer in those. Uh, and uh, we, men are lucky because there is a blood test that's called PSA or prostate-specific antigen, which is typically used to, until it came, uh, there was uh, men used to be found at stage four cancer, which is late cancer all over their body right, which and is that's devastating, it. Yeah. Yep. And uh, since the 80s, the discovery of PSA, uh, there is a, uh, an early warning sign that could be found with a simple blood test. The problem with this, with a simple blood test, is that it is specific for the prostate. It comes what only for the, the other prostate. Cancers that exist? Yeah, but it's also what it doesn't do is tells you if you have maybe you can have inflammation and it would come positive. So mm -hmm. the problem is that what follows after PSA is if you are flagged by PSA is to go to a biopsy and the biopsy is very complicated. It's twelve needles. It's not fun, and seventy five percent of those biopsies come negative, which incidentally is the same rate that comes from positive mammographies. If you have a positive mammogram, you also may have such a high rate. So the question is, it's not so much that we cannot find in this cancer, early cancer, but the cost right. to patients, the payers, the, the, the whole angst that goes around, something you don't need to do in medicine. Right, the actual process of just getting that yes. diagnosis. Now, what have you guys created? How does it work? So what we did is uh, actually uh, we developed a generalized technology that uh, is a simple, think of it as a blood test. Uh, that could tell you and it could be applicable for prostate for breast, which is our next test, test to come uh, For pancreatic cancer that we just discussed uh, for ovarian cancer, which also is like pancreatic There is nothing that gives you early signs uh, And with different markers, it's the same technology the same little test that uh, we'll use in a small tube It's inexpensive, but what it does it makes a biomarker which is something that you find in the blood makes it specific for cancer so now, potentially, in the future, for example, you'll be able to go to the doctor once a year, just like PSA, but instead of just telling you you may have cancer, but only one out of four, we could tell you you have nothing. And for those that do have cancer, we can find them at early stage. Wow, so I want to take this test immediately. Right. No, you, you're young and uh, you have many years. Right, but I mean, you know, like you said, there are no, there aren't always symptoms, right, Correct. that point us exactly to the direction the of having cancer, and that's why something like this is so essential to kind of catch those you know, to catch the disease before it turns into symptoms, right? Um, now, does you said this works for different cancers, not just prostate cancer? The way in which it works differently than current methods, can you talk to us about that? Yes. Uh, so, for example, everybody heard on genetic tests, because especially in Israel, Ashkenazi women have genetic mutations called BRCA, BRCA1 and 2. Everybody remembers Angelina Jolie, who decided actually to go through a mastectomy to remove her breast because of her increased risk for cancer. Right. Genetic tests are not, they cannot tell you whether you have a disease or not. They can tell you only if it's a very, very advanced stage, but mostly it tells you if you have a risk. 
what we are doing is, first of all, we are protein-based, which is to say, technically, we can tell you whether you have a disease or not. We don't tell you about the risk for a disease. Right. So it's something that is quite definitive for the doctor. The doctor knows what to do. If I tell the doctor, Some, you have cancer, they know what to do next. If you don't, they send you home. That's a big difference. It's also very cost effective, which is something that is extremely important because late stage cancers today can cost in the United States at least $100,000 a year easily in medications only. So if you find it early, it's something that this, the healthcare system, the providers, the payers, Kupat Holim can afford it and can screen everybody and find cancer early. So the burden of the for disease. for the patients themselves. And yeah. for the patients, exactly. Right, the they patients. will leave. Exactly. That's a difference. Now, um, where is this available? When can we all take this yes. test? Uh, yeah, that's, that's the beauty because I know now you're looking at me. Yes, exactly. where can I, I truly get it? Now I want to know how it? can I get my hands on this? Well, uh, not yet, but in perhaps six months, uh, if you're a man, not you, uh, you will be able to get it in the first case would be in, in a U with, via a partner in the United States, probably okay. from California, but it will be available nationwide. Uh, we would like to get it into Israel fairly quickly, uh, that we're doing a clinical study with, at Balinson, actually with Professor uh, Jack Baniel. Balinson is a major Israeli hospital. Yeah, major Israeli workers. hospital. Everybody heard about the Ramat Kal, uh, you know, the chief of staff, uh, surgery recently. These are the same people we're working with. Uh, we have Israeli investors, so they are very interested. Merhavia, who is, uh, which is, the, is in uh, in the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, that are very interested in us actually coming and operating here. Even though it's a small country, we actually have a higher rate because of some genetics uh, for prostate cancer, for example, and for breast cancer. So I definitely feel we should be here next. Uh, yeah, and if you live actually even in a small country in Africa, you might get it uh, this year as well. Beautiful. Uh, well, it looks it like is. you guys are already, you know, on a mission to change the world. Yep. And it seems like that's going to happen. So thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. Thank you.